The winner in heat one, the number 11 of George Blaney here at Cherokee Speedway for the Carolina Sprint Tour. Look, it seems like you were the one that uh, came out the best in the starting shenanigans there in heat one. Yes, sir, absolutely. Couldn't have asked for a better start there. You got a good start. You led it from that start, wire to wire. How's the track feel right now for you? Honestly, the track's never felt better. I have pretty good luck here sometimes it seems to be hit or miss and tonight it seems like uh seems like it's gonna be on my side all right mr blaney we'll do we got some routine work going on back there in the rear end the crew guys are thrashing away yeah some of it's routine we had to add some fuel to it we had to move the tires uh put a new tire on it for the feature and then uh we, had, we turned a few too many rpm so we're changing the gear as well well look for mr blaney on the front row in the feature
And the winner of heat number two, Jacob McLean, the 67 machine. Jacob, that looked like a pretty flawless heat victory out there. Yeah, starting on the pole, you get clean air, and um, I wanted to get a good start. And we had a pretty good start, and just once I got out front, I just never backed out of it. And the car's running good, it's handling good, so um, we'll see what we got for the feature. So, speaking of the feature, classic question, what do you predict the track to do, and how will it be in that feature? Uh, in the past, usually with the sprint cars, it seems like it gets pretty slick coming off the of four a little bit, but that's where it'll you, you gotta actually drive the car, but I don't know. This is a good, it's a smooth track, very smooth track tonight. And, um, I, th I think the middle to the bottom is probably gonna be be where it's at. If you get up up top too much, I think you might get in the, the, the marbles. But uh, you know, I, th I think it's gonna be a good racing track. All right, folks, let's see what the 67 of Jacob McClain can do in the feature. <laughs>
the wing is already off for the winner here at Cherokee Speedway Carolina Sprint Tour, Brandon McLean. And man, you've got to tell me what were, was going through your mind when that official started walking your way to tell you that you won. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, Jake drove a heck of a race. I had nothing for him. Uh, I was just so happy when we came in one and two. I was like, man, I was like, Dad's gonna be so stoked and everything. When I went across the scales, I was fine. Went over there and I told him to give me a four wheeler because I wanted to go on to the front stretch too, so we could all get a picture together and everything. And uh, next thing I know, the track announcer sitting over there interviewing me as the winner and everything, and I had no clue that Jake was disqualified. So, I, so I went from being extremely happy uh, for me and Dad and Jake, you know, having our first ever one two to being depressed as hell because Jay got his uh, win taken away from him for being light of the scales. That would have tied him for the series, uh, for the series standings when it comes to overall wins in the history of the series. To me being happy that I finally won my second race, but uh, I don't know. Like I, you know, I should be extremely, extremely happy right now, but I, I'm, I'm a little depressed right now. But in the end, I, you know, I'm still the winner. So I'm, I, when I go to bed at night, I'll be happy. It'll definitely be happening. Maybe some mixed emotions right now, but this place that they say, the place that Mama warns you about, you definitely can call home and tell Mom that's a pretty good place. Yeah, like uh, like I told the people in the grandstands uh, while I was in Victory Lane, the first time I ever uh, visited Victory Lane and had my picture taken in Victory Lane was here when I won my first ever dash with the USCS. And uh, so that was back in 2014. So here it is, 2022. I'm finally getting a feature win here. So that's that, that race is always going to be extremely memorable because I beat Terry Gray and Eric Riggins and all of them. And now I'm out here beating my brother, who's uh, my brother and Jeff McCall or Jeff. Uh, Jeff Oliver, who are the two winningest drivers in the series. So uh, the more we talk, the happier I'm getting. I was a little depressed at the start of this interview. <laughs> Brandon McLean, the winner here in Carolina Sprint Tour. Thank you. Well, for some rules clarification, we're going to catch up with Sean Vardell, the series promoter, owner, and competitor there in that uh, fine sprint behind us. So, Sean, what is the weight rule that bit the winner here and but via disqualification, Brandon McLean is now the winner. The weight rule is 1575 without fire suppression and 1550 with fire suppression. And every track we go to, the scales at the home or the track we go to are, are is gospel. So everybody's, I mean, they are not um, prejudiced, so they don't know what's going across it. And everybody goes across the scales to see what they got before tonight starts. Any tolerance whatsoever, or is it clear cut? Clear cut. If it's not within 1550 or 1575, with or with or without fire suppression, that's it. There's. I mean, I've just been disqualified myself for two pounds light. Sean Vardell with the clarification on it all. Thank you.